a network administrator has configured the OSPF timers to the values that are shown in the graphic. What is the result of having those manually configured timers? We have R1 with a hello timer of 5 seconds with dead interval timer of 20 seconds. We have R2 with a hello timer of 25 seconds with dead interval timer of 100 seconds. They are connected through a switch in the middle right here. And the answers are R1 automatically adjusts its own timers to match the R2 timers. The hello timer on R2 expires every 10 seconds. The R1 dead timer expires between hello packets from R2. The neighbor adjacency has formed. The answer to this question is the R1 dead timer expires between hello packets from R2. The dead timer, which is 20 seconds on R1, expires, in other words, before the next hello packets from the R2, which has the 25 seconds interval. The OSPF dead timer is a configurable countdown that dictates how long a router will wait to receive a hello packet from a neighbor before declaring that the neighbor is down and breaking their adjacency. And if a router fails to receive a hello packet from the neighbor within the dead interval, it assumes the neighbor has failed or become unreachable, leading to increased network instability and route reconciliations and recalculations. The default dead timer is typically four times the hello interval, which is 40 seconds for the broadcast and point-to-point -point network. So that's the answer to this question.